with another player of the week, Ali Beatty, um, who has just returned from sunny Florida. Yes. Uh, where you're doing your, where you're having your first games. Tell us a little bit about your experience there. Well, we went 11 and three, which is the best start in our program's history. Um, the first, uh, my first year here as a freshman, we went eight and six, I believe, which was the, uh, at the time, the best uh, that we had ever done in our history. So as a senior, it's nice to break our own yeah. record. Um, yeah, it was really fun. How did you feel as a senior going into these two weeks with your team? It was actually very emotional. Um, I didn't expect it to be so, but um, the five seniors have put so much into this year already. Uh, we've been working so hard in the off season and we've really sort of coalesced as a group and everyone's contributing individually. Um, and I think we've really had um, an amazing team unity this year led by the seniors. So it's been um, a pleasure, honestly, to play with the other seniors and uh, it's definitely gonna be an emotional experience throughout the rest of the year. Yeah. You mentioned uh, the off season. What is it that you guys were doing to get ready for this season now? Well, in the fall, we had captain's practices. Um, I think due to NESCAC regulations, mm -hmm. we aren't allowed to have a fall season. So um, some of the teams that we play in Florida actually have um, a pretty legitimate fall seasons where they compete uh, against other schools. Um, but that's one of the things that I think I really respect our program for. We have a lot of girls who are very self-motivated, uh, lifting on their own pitching, hitting, and all that. So it also really uh, helps foster a really good team atmosphere. So everyone sort of pulls their own weight and puts in time um, when you know our coaches aren't around to watch. Yeah, and as a senior, do you feel that there's an added sense of leadership for you this season? Definitely, um, th and like I said, uh, there are five of us. So we mm -hmm. have a pretty big class, um, but everyone contributes in their own way. Uh, we have one pitcher, one catcher, one infielder and two outfielders. So we've basically got, you know, all the bases covered, so to speak. Um, but <laughs> everyone is just stepping up and being leaders on and off the field. And I could not be more proud of our senior class. I think we've come a long way since our freshman year. Well, you are one of those two outfielders. Yes, um, I am. How do you feel, you know, wh how do you think, what do you think the difference is for you when you're in the outfield waiting to catch a ball or waiting to watch someone catch the ball versus mm -hmm. when you get up to bat? I mean, as a batter, it's definitely an individual experience. It's mm -hmm. you versus the pitcher um, and a field of eight other girls. Um, so it's really about executing individually and having a plan um, and really communicating with your coach. Um, and then, you know, working in succession with the rest of the uh, batting order. But in the outfield, um, one of the reasons I love it out there is just uh, it's such um, a sense of community, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing next to Tori Redding, uh, my co-captain, for four straight years now, almost every single game. And um, we know each other like the back of our hand. Um, I know her strengths, her weaknesses, I know her range, and um, I've never trusted another player so much. So it's, it's really been a pleasure to play next to her. And same thing with you know whoever occupies right field. We all know each mm -hmm. other very well, and um, I think we work well together. And you mentioned your batting. Um, been doing very well this season Thank so you. far. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your style. Um, I actually am a left-handed slapper. I'm naturally right-handed. Um, I actually broke my hand in high school um, and I was a right-handed hitter up until that point and so started hitting from the left side just you know to try it out um, and fortunately enough um, slapping is about placing the ball and then you know running as fast as possible to beat out the throw to first um, so it's, it's definitely a different style than, you know, most baseball viewers or players are used to. Um, slapping has become a pretty regular part of softball throughout, you know, divisions one, two, and three. Um, but it's really, it's a, it's a technique. It's not about power or, you know, hitting home runs. Um, it's really, my job is to get on base and then allow the people behind me to, um, you know, hit the doubles and, you know, the RBIs to bring me in, which our team has been doing so well this year. So, yeah. Do you think you're looking at another NESCAC championship? Fingers crossed. <laughs> I <laughs> hope I so. Won't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have definitely the tools to compete mm -hmm. uh, very fiercely. And, you know, I was actually speaking with our coach today. Uh, the NESCAC, in terms of softball, has been one of the best divisions or conferences in the country, I believe. Um, you know, we had Tufts last year go to the World Series. Uh, Middlebury won, I think, over 20 games. Um, we have some fierce competition, mm -hmm. and it will be different than my freshman year when we won conference. Um, there are a lot of talented players in mm -hmm. our conference, and it'll be a challenge, but I think one that we're ready to approach. So besides these upcoming games, what are you looking forward to the most in this season with your team? Oh, gosh. 
I mean, being a senior, I only have so many games left, so many practices. Um, but it's honestly the little things that I'm definitely going to miss the most. Uh, bus rides, watching Mean Girls and quoting incessantly, or stopping and eating as much food as possible <laughs> on the way up to Middlebury. Um, it's, you know, this team is my family, and I wouldn't go out with another group of girls. Um, we say it every day in practice. We sort of huddle as a team without our coaches before we get going, and, you know, we really appreciate it step by step, pitch by pitch, and I think that's what made us so successful in Florida, and hopefully we can carry that into the NESCAC play. Do you have a favorite moment from Florida? Oh, gosh. Um, definitely, actually. <laughs> um, I actually lost my voice in Florida from screaming so loud. <laughs> my mom thought I had laryngitis. Um, but You were a bit like Andrew then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, we were beating Wellesley, I believe. You know, it's such a blur. But I came down, I think, to the bottom of the seventh. We were losing by two. And um, I was fortunate enough to get on base and um, get to third. And our... Um, Ashley McLaren was hitting behind me. She's another uh, senior. She has, is catching for us this year, and she's been doing an amazing job of getting me in. My job is easy, just getting on base, and she puts the ball so perfectly. She hit the ball perfectly through the right side and scored me the tying run, and I'll never forget. <laughs> I slid. Um, I did a hook slide. I wrapped around the plate, and there's a picture of me sliding in, and I'm actually doing this. So... Great photo, <laughs> but um, honestly, it was such a team effort, and then after that, uh, we ended up scoring again to win, and just, we all rushed the field, um, having lost to Wellesley the year before, actually, in 14 innings, so it was a great moment, and I think a testament to, you know, what we have yeah. looking forward to, so, yeah. Well, wonderful. It sounds like the team is off to a phenomenal start, mm -hmm. and we'll be looking for more bright things from you Thank this you. coming season. <laughs>